You've always been an example of Christ's sensitive love to me and always pushed me to grow in my gentleness and compassion for his people and creation. I thank you for praying for your future husband with your parents, even as a child, because I needed it. So Ashton, today I commit myself to love and cherish you and you alone for the rest of my days. I commit to pursue Christ first in my life, placing him above all else as he will have the final authority in our home. I promise to love you even when hard times arise because as we know, love is a sacrificial choice and not an emotional pull. I promise to continue to learn the intimate details of you as life goes on. Most importantly, your cereal to milk ratio, which I can never seem to get quite right. <laughs> Ashton, I commit to lead, protect, and respect you to the best of my ability with the help of the Lord. I am finally able to be called your wife. Tucker, you are the human version of a golden retriever. <laughs> you are energetic, happy-go-lucky, easily distracted, a total social butterfly. But most importantly, you are loyal. I know that God created you specifically for me. When our friendship began, I was coming out of a long season of darkness. I was a girl struggling to figure out her purpose. I felt broken and confused, and I had convinced myself that I didn't deserve to be loved. However, God had bigger plans for me because he placed you in my life. You were an unexpected surprise, a breath of fresh air. I truly believe that our God is in the business of redemption, and you have been the best part of my redemption story. Today I vow to put you above all else, and to love you even when you take the furthest parking spot away from the store. <laughs> Through all of our differences, the ups and downs that life is bound to throw at us, in the moments that our faith may be shaken, I can promise you this. I will always strive to push you closer to the Lord. I will respect you and your leadership, even when my pride wants to pull me a different direction. Being your wife is the greatest privilege, honor, and adventure that I will ever be blessed with, and I can't wait to start our life together. lifestyle together in the Lord is lived well in a reflection of the Lord, That's, that gives people a chance to see God. And sometimes they won't see Him any other way than through the faithful love of people who've been loved well. The Bible says we love because He first loved us. And God's love is so benevolent, so generous, so extravagant, so gracious. And someone once said, 
Grace is costly love. It's love that's willing to pay the price. son in marriage today? <laughs> well, her mother and I do. Okay. And I've always thought that it's, it's such a special thing that God allows us to go through life with our best friend. As we follow the Lord, we get to follow the Lord together with our very best friend in life. Uh, one of the things that we've enjoyed in you guys is just how much you enjoy being each other's best friend. And uh, you guys laugh a lot. Tucker chuckles. <laughs> but the point is, you guys enjoy each other. And it's obvious to anyone who spends five minutes with you. And that's part of the great adventure. You get to go through life with your very best friend. And so we're just really, really thankful to see how the Lord has worked in both of your lives together. We're excited for your future. I just wanted you to think about those things, why marriage is so great. God's accomplishing something. He's going to be revealing some things. His heart and your hearts. And it's all going to be good and necessary. Ashton, in token and in pledge. Ashton, in token and in pledge. Of our constant faith and abiding love. Of our constant faith and abiding love. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is the exciting part because I get to make a pronouncement. And here, here it is. Now under the authority granted to me by God in the state of Washington, I pronounce you husband and wife. Tucker, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> So for the first time, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Bradshaw. me about these questions, you know, so you think Tucker's this guy, you know, and we're going down the list, and, and, and uh, we get closer to the tree, and Tucker steps out from behind the tree, and I mean, and I said, you mean like this guy right here? <laughs> and she goes, ah, you know, and she just screams, and she runs toward Tucker, and uh, it was really a sweet moment, but I got to tell you, it was mixed emotions for me as a daddy, <laughs> because that's when she... I told myself I'm going to hold it together. <laughs> but that's when you got to let go. You see, there she goes. 
here's the young man that we've prayed for. And um, it was so cool to see her excited to just run to him and to know that he really was everything on that list and more. And so it's, it's a real delight. So for the first toast, here's to the list and to Tucker and Ashton. Love you guys. Well, there are so many qualities about Ashton that I could rave about. The main one, as I mentioned earlier, is her loyalty. She would come out to support me at most of my volleyball games on good and bad days, even if that meant she was sitting alone in the stands. I still don't think she realizes just how much it meant for me to see not only my parents, but my friend in the crowd. Going on 15 years of friendship is a lot, and I look forward to the many more years to come. Getting to watch your guys' relationship go from the friend zone to marriage for so many years has been such a cool thing to witness. You both have grown so much in yourself, each other, but most importantly, the Lord. I'm so thankful to have you both in my life, and I look forward to the many more years to come. <laughs> you guys are such a blessing, and I love you guys so much. Cheers to the newlyweds. <laughs> Tucker, you're going to hear a lot um, that you're so lucky that you found Ashton as a wife. And while that's true, Ashton is awesome and will be an incredible wife, it's also true that, Ashton, you have been so blessed to have found a husband like Tucker. He truly is one of a kind, one who will serve and love you with all of his heart. So I tell this story because I've been married for a couple years now, um, so I, I mastered it. Um, <laughs> I just, I completely nail it every day. And so the wisdom that I want to, you know, pass on to you that I've learned is you're going to have disagreements with each other. And sometimes, you know, one person will do something that'll, you know, the other person will be like, why, why would you do that? But you always got to pay attention to where the other person's coming from and, Tucker, I can tell you that growing up with Ashton, her heart is almost always in the right place. And she cares so deeply about people, and she's so loving, and so, you know, it honestly should be pretty easy for you to be a good husband. <laughs> so. Ashton, I'm excited for you tonight. Uh, you get a man who is going to become your protector. He's, he's a man of God, and he is going to be your protector, whether it comes to physically or emotionally. He's going to protect you both ways. Tucker, you get your compliment. You get someone who's going to keep you grounded. She's going to make sure you're not too crazy or too wild. And she's going to make sure you're in church every Sunday morning. <laughs> I want to turn to Tucker and Ashton. Ashton, just, I got to watch you grow up. You know, I was around you all the time, but little did I know you were going to be my daughter-in-law. You, were, you had so much character, so much spunk. I had to coach against her in the third grade, fourth grade basketball. And if you know my daughters, it gets kind of competitive with basketball. So they met their match, though, defensively against Ashton guarding them. So it was a tough one. Um, Tucker, you know, I started this toast uh, by saying I'm Tucker's dad. And I'll tell you, him growing up, I've said that many times to his coaches, to his teachers, to his friends. Hey, I'm Tucker's dad. And I've always felt so much pride in doing that. Never once did I waver in claiming you as my son. So well done, son. And let's raise a glass to these two. Close my eyes, you're looking back at me. As real as autumn air I take and breathe Try as you might, but you can't hide from me I know all the beauty that you keep 
swim in the sun, the earth, the sky. And I won't stop looking for you.